What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys I bring you a simple little glitch to bypass the last steps of the Iron Banner quest line for that Season 7 Iron Banner armor. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Iron Banner quest line, test of strengths is how it starts, has its good and bad points. Good points we like to grind. Bad points, some of the steps are stupid long, crazy hard, and it takes place not in normal PvP, but it's Iron Banner PvP, which instantly turns into a sweat fest of crazy try hard bastards trying to impress their imaginary sweethearts, which in reality is just their right hands. And that's without me even mentioning the matchmaking and the connection. And then there's the Lord of Wolves. Now the Lord of Wolves is a hundred times worse on PC than what it is on console, but it's still crazy on console. Now I've seen a few tweets by a few content creators aimed at Bungie asking all nicely for it to be nerfed. Bungie are like, whatever, we will nerf it when we feel we need to and I say that in the sense of no response by Bungie. They need a good telling if you ask me, no holding back. So if anyone at Bungie is watching this, fix your stupid game by either greying out the weapon until it's fixed or nerfing the bastard thing because it's ruining PvP for many people who are looking forward to it due to Iron Banner. Sort your shit as. I mean Jesus, you've made so much great progress with opulence. Back to a million players playing on a daily basis. We know you think you can get away with ignoring this fact, but please sort your shit out. I mean people Bungie hate me anyway and it's because I say it how it is, so yeah. So with that out of the way, the Iron Banner quest, wow, and the fact this isn't account wide either is beyond me, yes you have to do this on every character if you want the Iron Banner armor for each, craziness. So the quest starts with a test of strength, earn points by defeating enemy guardians in Iron Banner, this part is relatively well straightforward. The next step is armed and dangerous, as a team earn points by capturing zones and earning power plays. The more teammates capture in the zone, the greater the points earned. Again, quite straightforward. The next step, light it up, as a team earn points by defeating guardians in the Iron Banner with supers. This can be a little bit crazy, but it isn't too bad either. The next step, non-stop, as a team earn points by defeating enemies in Iron Banner using auto rifles, fusion rifles, scout rifles, snipers and swords. Well, straightforward as well. The next step, and the final step is, earn points by completing Iron Banner matches. Win streaks are worth significantly more points. So after a crazy grind to get to that last step, it further requires you to play even more Iron Banner. And to be honest guys, it gets a little bit heartbreaking at this stage. I mean, I know many people out there who might be watching this video enjoy PvP in their six stacks. I ain't gonna hate on you, do your thing. But many people play solo, many people play in two man teams or three man teams. And Iron Banner for many of them is unbearable. So getting to this stage of the quest and having to play even more Iron Banner, where wins are pretty rare, it does, like I say, break your heart. And to be honest, this step is slow if you also ain't smashing it every game. So once you get to this part of the quest, there's actually a glitch you can do which almost allows you to completely bypass this part of the quest which is no doubt the longest part of the quest and it's relatively simple people. So once you're on this part of the quest, play a single game well until you get at least 1% progress on this part of the quest. Then simply back out. Then all you need to do is people load into the tower. As soon as you start loading, simply just change character. When you come back to this character, you will have made progress. Do this five or six times and it completes this part of the quest, meaning then simply you just visit Mr. Saladin and bam, you are done. Now you can see this working on screen now thanks to my pal Lucky. And a massive shout out to him, as I do believe he's the original founder of this. His Twitch and YouTube channel can be found linked within the video description. Do check him out and show him some love. He's one of the best streamers on Destiny out there for sure. So yeah, guys, this part can be glitched and skipped, which means you don't have to go back into I Am Banner. Well, not on that one character anyway. So yeah, as soon as you get to this part of the quest, make progress on this part of the quest, then simply back out. Then all you need to do is people load into the tower. As soon as you start loading in, simply just change character. When you come back to this character, you will have made progress. Do this as many times as it takes to get this quest step 
done. Obviously, it will take a little longer to do on console than what it will be on PC because of loading times, but it still means you don't have to play any more Iron Banner to get this done. So yeah guys, I really hope this helps you out. So I thought I'd drop this right now because many people ain't even at this part of the quest yet, me included. So as long as you're aware of this before you get to this stage, we are all good. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.